Hey guys, what's up? It's Born Baller, and I just want to do this quick um, sort of discussion video. And um, I just want to know what you guys got into sneakers. So um, I just want to tell, like, it might be a long story, but here it is. Um, for me, you guys should already know how everyone started off. Um, people only got like one pair of shoes a year, they only got Payless shoes. And basically, that's what I've gone through as well. And um, basically, I always go to Payless one shoe a year. I always get those Airwalks, those Shacks, those cheap Shacks. Not the ones from Reebok, but the actual Shacks. And I got like a few Vans. But um, yeah, that's how, how it started off from, for me until um, 2006, 2007, when I was, about, when I was in 7th, uh, 8th grade in middle school. Yeah, I started off in 7th grade. Um, I've always um, been walking around school. I um, always had just one pair of shoes that I, I wear every single day and then I've always noticed that uh, my friends they've been wearing Jordans because at the time I really didn't know um, that um, my, I knew who Michael Jordan was it's just that I never knew that my, um, MJ had a shoe line from Nike so um, basically I kept on asking him like hey what kind of shoes are those I'm like this is, they're all saying of course Michael Jordan so I, of course I knew who Michael Jordan was just to repeat myself and um Basically, I just asked, like, where do you guys get those shoes from? He's like, oh, yeah, I got from Full Locker and all that stuff. So then, basically, what I did is, like, I wanted I wanted a pair also because I just wanted to try it out. And basically, I asked my mom and my dad, asking them, I was like, Mom, Dad, can I get some Jordans? It's like, no, because they already know how Jordans are, and they said, no, they're too expensive. You'd rather get shoes that pay less, but, um... Basically, they gave me a prom. Oh, they kept a promise for me is is that if I get good grades on this on the end of the quarter because my middle school um, was in a quarter system, um, that they would give me the pair of Jordans. So I worked my ass off and I got almost straight A's. I had A's and B's, no C's, and um, I got the shoes. But the thing is that my grandma noticed that I got the good grades, so she she basically bought the shoes instead. So for that story, uh, we went to um, Great Mall, which is which is in Milpitas. Uh, I went. That's about like a 15 minute drive from where I'm at right now. And um, we went to Finish Line, and I know and uh, I noticed that there was a glass casing because at first I wanted the Jordan 21s because that's when the 21s came out. So um, basically, it was too expensive for my grandma to get because at the time I believe it was like 170, I believe around that around that price range. But she said no, so then because I really wanted the black, uh, white with gray 21s, but it's whatever. So I, I just went to the sale, um, sale wall where all the Jordan this for Jordans. So basically, I got the team Jordans, they were the team strongs. Um, that was my very first pair that I actually got. Um, I remember they were size nine, so that's a you could tell I had a small foot back then. Um, so, um, yeah, I just got those. I beat the crap out of those shoes. I basically wore them in the rain, through the grass, the very first time I wore them the next day, just so I could show it off to my friends. And I was like, oh, dude, you got the Jordans. It's like, yeah, dude, I got the Jordans now, dude. Because um, my friends had the same exact pair as me, but theirs were white, uh, white, black, and red. Mine was the gray, blue, and white um, version of the Team Strong. So you guys search it up, you guys. Um, so you can guys to see the actual pair and how they look like. But I did have Jordans back then also when I was a little baby. Well, when I was little, I was about like four years old. I got the Bread 13s. That was my, my very actual first pair, but I beat the shit out of those because I didn't know what the hell um, MJ was when I was very, very little. But yeah, I got those. That was my actual first pair, but this is the actual pair that I actually like, know that I was wearing because I didn't re really remember wearing those Bread 13s back in the day. But um yeah then after the after that um in 2007 because I was still getting one pair a year um I got these shoes this is not the actual pair that I got this is the 2013 version but I got the 2007 um Fire Red 3s instead of like the tumble leather on this part it was all smooth leather in my opinion that's that's how it should have been done instead of this tumble leather but um yeah in 2007 I got the Fire Red 3s I happened to be on um jumpman23.com that's the Jordan website. If you guys don't know, um, I I just scrolled down. I was like, "Hey, mom, dad, I like I want to get these Jordan threes. I said, "Okay, fine, we'll go when they release in March." So we went to Foot Locker, and 
I was very, very lucky because I was the very, I was the very last pair, and I was lucky enough it was in my size. And and at that point, um, from seventh to eighth grade, I grew to I, sorry for the <laughs> cracking, uh, but I grew two sizes from a size nine to eleven, which is what my size is now. So yeah, um, I was very fortunate to get, fortunate to get that pair. And then after that, I beat the crap out of it. All the ch it wasn't even red here anymore. It was all just yellow. And that's how bad they were beating and the increasing. Of course, it was hella bad because I wore the five red threes every single day to school. Also, so um, yeah, that's about it for those five red threes. And then towards my freshman year, um, the white cement spizex came out, and everywhere that was sold, I went to Great Mall and um, I went to Eastridge, and I was just lucky enough again. Same incident happened for, for, um, for the Fire Red 3s. Um, I got the very last size, so I was just very lucky. And then I kept on wearing them every day to school, too. And um, I even made a bet like, to, to one of my friends, like, I'll, I'm going to get these white cement space X. I bet you I'll get them. And then the next, after that weekend, um, I showed them, like, dude, I showed you up. But then, um, yeah, that was basically it. But after um, I got those white cement um, spizikes, um, I took a three-year break from shoes. So um, during that break, all I really got was like Vans. I think that was basically it. I just got Vans for those three years. I had like ten pairs of Vans. Like the only Nikes I bought were like these Nike Dunks, but those are long gone. I beat the crap out of those too. I don't even know what the hell happened to. Them. I don't even know if I threw them away or not. So, um, yeah, those things are gone, and then I had, like, 10 pairs of bands, but then I sold them all. I only have about, like, three pairs left, but I still don't even wear, because all I wear are just my Jordans and Nikes. So, yeah, that's about it for that, and then, um, once I hit my senior year, beginning of my senior year, after that long break from the freshman year, end of my freshman year, until my senior year, um, I was in my yearbook class, I was part of the yearbook staff in my high school, in my, during that time. And I was just browsing around online. And then I happened to be on the Jordan website again. I saw the release calendar, and lo and behold, I saw the cool gray 11s coming out. It was on 2010. And um, basically, uh, I asked my parents if I could get those. That's an early um, birthday present because the cool gray 11s released the 21st of December, and my birthday was right after Christmas on the 26th. And um, they said, okay, sure, we'll give you the money. The thing is, is that, um, I, 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 well, I said that I was going to go camp out. So I went to East Ridge Mall again, camped out from 4 p.m. the um, day before until 5 a.m. the next day. So I camped out for 13 hours all by myself in the blistering cold. I was just wearing just a plain jacket like this. Um, I was wearing jeans and red Vans. That's all I wore because I really didn't have Jordan that many Jordans because all 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 of my Jordans were beat so um yeah so I got my cool gray um, 11s at foot action I was lucky enough to get my size I was about like the 30th person in line but still got my guaranteed pair because all this all the shoe stores at Eastridge um, got them Foot Locker, Foot Action, Finish Line, Shoe Palace which is whatever um, Robert Wayne Footwear where I work now um, Champs had them so she had them that's Basically, East Ridge um, Mall is basically a shoe store, shoe mall, basically, because majority of their shops over there are shoe stores. So um, yeah, so from there, basically, um, I regained my sneaker addiction, as you guys could say. Um, let's see, yeah. So after that, I went to my end of my senior year. I got a few more pairs. Um, I, I forgot what I got, but. It grew from that, so it basically it grew what it is today. So I got all these pairs laying around here. So you got my Black Toe ones, got my Miami Knights. Of course, you got my South Beaches. You got my Bread ones right here. So um, yeah, basically my sneaker obsession grew to it is what it is today right now. So you can see all these shoes. I'll bear them up right here. You can see my my addiction for shoes has grown a lot in the past about past three years and I don't think it will ever stop uh, I know my parents keep on bugging me about uh, about saving money but I do save my money I always keep my priorities first you guys because shoes are not the number one thing in my, in my life I keep all my priorities straight I still pay my bills um, if you guys haven't watched my previous video 
that on how to save your shoes, on how to save money for your shoes and how to spend it wisely. Um, this should be in my video um, section on my channel. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I just want to know how your guys' sneaker obsession or sneaker addiction or uh, your love for sneakers has started. And um, just leave your comments below. It could be like a short story. It's like, oh yeah, um, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Or a long story and I'll read it. And I'll, I'll try to respond to all your guys' comments in, this, in, the, um, in the comment section as I always do with all my videos. So I'm um, just like, comment, subscribe, favorite, whatever you guys want to do. And if you guys are here on my YouTube channel, or um, just feel free to subscribe. Um, I'm very friendly. And also, there's a thing um, I, w I will try to do a, li uh, a live chat for you guys this week. Most likely, it will be tomorrow. Um, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow, the twenty second, or the twenty twenty second or twenty third, because I have days off work because Friday, Saturday, um, I am working. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'll, if I if I make a second video today, that means it will be tomorrow or Thursday for the sneaker sneaker chat, and it will be guaranteed because I need I want to find a. A guess. So I'll just hit up one of my one of my uh, my boys. That's a very big sneakerhead here in the Bay Area. So just stay tuned for that, um, and then I'll see you guys soon. Peace.